the bus won't break down. I guess there was no one to pick up. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Where are we? Ailson? Hey, where are we? <laughs> Google, where are we? Oh, listen. We're in uh, Alison, Norway. Just got off the ship. Gonna go for a walk. Actually, we're gonna try to talk, take the hop on, hop off bus, hop on, hop off bus, uh, which is free for crew, so that's great. We're gonna go on a bit of a self guided tour, I guess, and see what we can see. We got about two hours until we gotta be back on the ship, so it's gonna be fun. Come to Norway with us. Allison. Let's have a look at this pier where we are today. Oh, there's a pool. I hope there's no trouble afoot there. Look at that ship. Beautiful, isn't she? And I believe over there is where we're going to catch the bus. Hop on, hop off. Why is that so hard to say? Hop on, hop off. He says it better than I do. He's from Mauritius. And now we're waiting for Scene. Scene should be here soon. Oh, we can take the, the little train. There it goes. Oh, I missed that one too. See, I can actually make these ones. Is this where it comes, right here? Speak with someone's manager. I want to speak with someone who's in charge here. Yeah. Hold on, who's in charge? Hold on, I need to get my supervisor. It's a very small <laughs> little city or town or village, whatever we call this place. Island? I'm looking forward to it. Up, up, up. Yeah. I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid I'm not. <laughs> it's not. Let's go. We just show our cruise card, right? Yeah. It is free. Uh, you use the tunnel at least as a last loop. It's just to collect the rest of the people. So if you get off, nobody's going to pick you up. You'll have to stay on board. Just stay on? Uh, go for a ride? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Okay. Go for it. Back at five o'clock? Uh, yes. Got to make sure we can even get on this bus. They're going to check. It's okay? Yeah. Uh, so what time does it come back then? Uh, it's one hour tour more or less. It's okay. just to collect the people, so you have to stay on. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah no problem. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Hello. Watch your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sean? 
Hold on, Sean. Hold on. No, we'll, we'll, we'll be back before we have to board, though. We'll have a bit of time. Watch your head. Oh my god. Crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even Sean. So the bus, he said it takes an hour more or less, but literally we're just going around picking up people. So yes. we can't get off. No. Still we'll visit. Sean, can you give us some impromptu um, uh, facts about the area that we're in right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at liberty to give any facts about no, no. Allison. I'm afraid I have to check with my supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> I need to speak to your manager. Well, the first stop is the cruise terminal, which is behind us, and we can't get off. And then Sunmoor Museum. What are we going to see there, Sean, at the Sunmoor? Um, we're going to see the outside. <laughs> we're going to see the outside. Oh, we're going to see the facade of this building. <laughs> It would have been nice if we can go for a Norwegian beer. Maybe back at that pier. We'll go back. side of this building. I thought those were the people for the museum. They've knighted a penguin. That's nice. So there's a royal family yeah. and everything. Because Norway is officially the kingdom of Norway. You know, you know what they say about cemeteries? People are dying to get in. That's a dad joke for you. Thanks, dad. Look at that view. Gorgeous. I 
wonder what the housing market's like in Allison. Yeah. Because these homes, they don't look old. Oh, we didn't stop, did we? We passed the museum. Okay. I guess there was no one to pick up. We almost hit a dog. Was someone over there? No, there was a cat. Well, there's a kid and a dog right here. We almost just hit a dog. He's okay. Maybe we should have pulled the seat. Aw. They're okay. Apparently there's a cat that tried to cross the road and then the dog tried to chase it. <laughs> We're okay. We're all right. Where are we now? Axel? Axla. The Axla viewpoint. to the Park and Cultural Center, Culture Center, for shopping. Oh no, Sean, we're gonna pass the shopping center. Thank you. This is good information. You've been very helpful. <laughs> I need some dental floss, so if we can just yell at someone, they can throw it in. <laughs> One way. There's no way two two vehicles are passing this. Oh, there's your little stop gap right there. I'm on the wrong side of the bus. Yes.
Uh, the driver's just apologizing about breaking for the dog, making sure everyone's okay. Watch your head. <laughs> so we actually are allowed off the bus for a moment. We're at the Axland viewpoint, which is pretty beautiful. Axla. Here we go. This view translates to how beautiful it is in person because it really is. It looks incredible. It's nice and sunny. Beautiful day. And Allison. And that water looks gorgeous. Good. We'll go to the other viewpoint. that high up but we're pretty high and there is a bridge to get over to that side I don't know if we'll be taking that bridge or not Wow must be very calm and peaceful to live on that island very nice to live here. Definitely, if you do live here, you're pretty lucky. Did, did he give a time we gotta be back on the bus? <laughs> Beautiful story, princess. That other dock, or the pier, just straight out there was the one that Sky Princess was at last time. This one's actually easier for us because we can just walk right into the town, which is down there. Whereas that one, you technically have to take a bus. You don't have to, but I think to get from there to here is much easier. And I think there's a little bridge at some point, I think just down there to cross that waterway. So it's easier for where the Sky Princess is right now. We got lucky on this one. There's no other cruise ship in the area at the moment, but there are definitely other boats. Okay, we gotta get back on the bus. Going. See, the road is so narrow here that you have to let the bus go by before other cars. It looks like it'd be a one-way, but it's not. It's, we're on a two-way street, but it's so narrow. You can't get two cars at the same time. So someone's got to move. Oh, take the scooter. There's just a scooter. Bolted. Go on, quiet, man. 
Well, we've gotten off the, uh, off the bus now, and we're just gonna try to do our own sightseeing and shopping now. The, the ship is just behind these buildings here. So we're just gonna go to a couple shops, buy some things for our cabins, and then get back on the boat. We've gotta be on the boat ship in about 40 minutes. So let's make a count. Oh. There's a nice little Viking boat. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This way. I think, I think it's that Circle K, actually. I don't think it's 7-Eleven. That's where it's telling us to go. Yeah. We're going to make it. We always make it. Uh-oh. We're going to the Norway gang. We're in trouble. You don't see 7-Eleven up past that way? We will make it. Across the street in Norway. Elsen. Yeah, up there. Isn't there a 7-Eleven on that side? No? That's not it. That's the fish market. <laughs> there it is. 7-Eleven. Water closet. I need to use the water closet. Yeah, me too. We'll meet you in there. Do we have to pay for this? I don't know. I think yes. Yeah. Oh. Free entrance. Oh, one person? <laughs> wow, it's very clean. Fisherman's friend, tic tac. Sixty-seven. Ah. My Ashwin's yeah. home. I put it here. How is this? Well, where are we? I'm right about there somewhere. Ottawa is in there. <laughs> See how, how small it is here. Yeah. Mauritius. All the way up. Ottawa. Somewhere in there. There's little Guelph, Ontario. Ooh. Have a good day. Thank you. It better be chewing gum. I don't think it is though. We should have went to that bun purse place. Okay, Ashwin owes us dental floss and what did you need? Tampons, Sean? Yeah. Uh, extra large. Where's no Malibu? Malibu. We go right through here, right? Yep. Lots of time. What are you talking about? I made it. You just throw a shirt and tie on, you're at work. <laughs> just turn it on like that. <laughs> One day we, we won't go out. We'll just sit on the open deck and relax. Right? Yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Before we go home. Yeah. There's always lots of sunbeds up there. No problem. Sunbeds, super fast internet. We can watch Netflix, play video games. Yeah. <laughs> We're inside, outside. Thank you. Back on the ship. Thank you. Get your mask out. Hi. Oh, 
Do you have an updated um, itinerary? All right, Sean. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Back in my cabin from Aylesund. Oh, listen. I think every time I say it, I pronounce it differently. But well, let's have a look one last time. Really nice spot. And before I came back through, I wanted to grab an updated uh, itinerary of all the places that we're going to be visiting because things have changed since the one I've got on my wall. Um, obviously ports get moved around, things change, things get cancelled. Very unfortunate sometimes. Um, last minute changes. Most reasons being obviously it could be weather, could be security, could be clearance, could be one actually that we've encountered is that our ship is actually too long. Uh, I believe we're over 300 meters and the port that we were meant to go to is not allowing ships that are longer than 300 meters to dock uh, to go alongside there. So that's why we are not allowed to go there. Uh, it was a recent change as of not even that long ago that they had to make the change. So unfortunately, all the people, all the guests that had purchased their uh, cruise packages before that date, um, obviously boarded and expected to have this um, itinerary uh, with a certain a certain port but unfortunately uh, last minute changes had us cancel that port altogether and we weren't able to make up for it so instead of having a sea day and then a port we actually have two sea days uh, in a row before we head back to South Southampton but that th those actually already happened um, today we're in Aylson tomorrow we're in Bergen then it's a sea day and then we're back in Southampton on the 3rd of September, today being the 31st of October. So happy last day of, sorry, August. <laughs> last day, 31st of August. Uh, so happy last day of August if you're celebrating that for any reason. But like I said, unfortunately, yes, ports do get canceled. Itineraries change, things happen. And for the most part, it is out of control of the cruise line. It's actually the port the district, the city, the country that's deciding uh, what ships can or cannot dock, regardless of what pre-planned itinerary there was or whatever pre-planned or pre-organized or pre-agreed agreement there was, things do change and it is a tough thing for customers and guests to have to adjust to because obviously they've purchased their tickets with that itinerary in mind. Even though the cruise line does say either on websites or with travel agents they are, there is a contract, there are stipulations, pro, um, policy, everything like that, that state that the itinerary can change, even last minute. And there are no refunds. There are not meant, that's not meant to, to happen. Of course, it's within reason, what the reason may be. Uh, reven, refunds could be issued, but on this particular cruise, there isn't because we've made up for it in other ways. So unfortunately, that's just the, the nature of the beast. That's what happens. Um, things do change. Just like airlines, just like trains, things get rerouted, changed, stops, stopovers get changed, sometimes last minute, and that's just how it goes in the industry. So unfortunately, um, we did have to cancel a port this, um, this round, but we've made up for it. So, so the itinerary I have on my wall actually was last updated, I believe, probably in May, maybe not even that long ago, but that's when this current itinerary is built. The itinerary I just picked up is has started for July 2022, which is when I started. So just at the end of July, July 23rd is when I boarded. Today we're August 31st, and my contract goes until July, uh, sorry, January 21 of 2023. But between now and then, uh, the itinerary is a little different from what is initially on my wall, specifically talking about this current voyage that we're on. Um, we did have to cancel a port for reasons that the port authority in that um, area made us change because we are over 300 meters. So gonna wrap up this one for today. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for visiting. We've got Bergen tomorrow in Norway. 
So we will be leaving Ailsund very shortly. Uh, I did make it back onto the boat on time. Uh, we're pulling away for about 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., and then we're on our way to Bergen, which we will arrive at tomorrow for 6 a.m. It's a very early port tomorrow. 6 a.m. in Bergen, and then we actually uh, depart for 12.30 is actually all on board, and then sail away is at 1 o'clock. And then we're on a full sea day, and we turn in Southampton on the 20, sorry, not the 23rd, the 3rd of September for a turnaround where we are expecting about 2,200 guests with us. So that will be exciting and fun. And in that trip, very exciting, we're going to be going to Stockholm, Berlin, Helsinki, Copenhagen. So I'm really looking forward to the next one. But before we get there, I'm looking forward to checking out Bergen. Although I might not be able to get off the ship tomorrow because it's such an early port and early disembark. So might have to just catch some views up from the open deck. And then I'll see you then.